After surviving the haunted mansion in Good Springs, Pick Boots and Slimbo decided it was time to go to nature. And it was just what they needed. Until Slimbo heard something. Boo. 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 Come on. All right, Boot. Let's not get too crazy. Um, it... Excuse me? Whoa, look at this. You got like a diving board? X-Man's not in the mood for playing patty cake with strangers. So get the f*** out of my camp. X-Man. Whoa. Holy sh... Jeez. What? Whoa, what's with the hostility? Great. I was looking for an excuse to kill someone. What? Unless you're here to help X-Man. Get the f*** out of my camp. X-Man. Maybe I can help? What's the problem? You need some... You need, need like some root beer or something? You have anything to trade? Uh, what's the problem? I'll give you a hint. I'm Axeman. <laughs> I see. You've got a lot of hatchets laying around, but no proper axes. That ain't exactly breaking news, jackass. Uh, a lot of hatchets. Exactly. Your eyeballs are very wise. You see, after a series of very painful events, I've lost my axe. What is an axe man without an axe? I'll tell you. A baby. A little baby that doesn't have an axe. So, uh, about that axe. If you give a man an axe, he'll give you a chop. Are you gonna help Axe Man find it or not? How'd you lose it? Uh, let's skip the backstory, go get your axe back. How'd you lose it? Yeah, tell us, tell us a tale, my friend. It all happened two thirds of a week ago. Um, Axe Man was out and about. Scouting the desert for signs of tasty animals to harvest, like bighorns and soda machines. He had just spotted a flock of sarsaparilla. One of them was wounded and would make for easy prey. Axe Man leapt into action. But suddenly, a bright searing light, thousands of dog whistles howling at his ears. A trap. Axe Man. Sasperil machines aren't known to ambush people, and that's when you were abducted by aliens, right? Sounds like you got hit by a flashbang. Your attacker wanted you alive. Yeah, they don't, uh, ambush. That's because it wasn't the Sasperilla. It was something else. Something worse. Zombies. Zombies. You mean ghouls? Are you insinuating that Axeman is a racist? No, no, no. Just No. When I say zombies... X-Man means zombies. Okay, I think you're giving me a migraine. Sure, just, just continue. Go ahead. As X-Man was saying... Yes. The angry light had put X-Man into an involuntary man sleep, during which the zombies dragged X-Man back to their lair. <sighs> when X-Man awoke, he was tied to a rock. They'd taken my supplies, my pants, and most importantly, my axe. This next part of the story is very boring, so I'll skip ahead a few days. Cold, hungry, and with a horsey jaw from gnawing on his bindings for several dozen hours, Axeman was finally able to free himself. But, oh. Axeman hated to admit it. He was in no shape to do battle with the zombies. They were too numerous, and he too axeless. So like a greasy gecko, Axeman slipped away into the night, returning to his camp to gather his strength, to put on his remaining pants. To go back and kill the fuck out of those damn dirty zombies. I think I've heard enough, let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go get it. Good. Axeman will now transfer knowledge of the zombie lair to your wrist map. Hey-ya! <laughs> Axeman will join you in this battle, whether you want him to or not. Axeman has joined your party, granting you the survival expertise perk. Oh, awesome. You can set up a campfire? Axeman is with you. Whatever, Hatchet Man. All right, let me take a look at this awesome little camp you got here. Ooh, this is where you shave? You got any boots? Boot. Yeah, we know. We know. That's why I was asking. Jeez. Hatchet man, indeed. Actually, can I take a... Uh, I'm not going to risk it. 
He'll get real pissed. Man! Oh! Oh, using all the pieces. Damn, you really do have a lot. Oh. Slimbo! Shh! Alright. Where is this zombie? Is this correct? If you give a man an axe, he'll kick you in the dick. Coyote down, that's where we're going. We're going to find an axe. Axe man boots and limbo. What adventure time. It's time to find coyotes and burn them alive. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. That's with the man. You get the axe. Axe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, if you haven't uh, been able to tell, I did voice the Axe Man. This is the Axe Man. Very different from Axe Man. And this is uh, Ollie Oxen's take on Axe Man, everyone. So, yeah. Is this the true original Axe Man, or is it a different one? The, perhaps I'll describe that later. Or not, not like not now, later, like later, later. That's some beautiful lighting in here. This isn't any ordinary cave. Hey, zombies! Wild ghoul! You got a lot of health, wild ghoul Jenkins. Oh. <laughs> Shoot the heads. Jeez. Look what they've done. They've eaten things. Axeman, I'm sorry for doubting you. Let's move. Yeah, yeah. It's old ghoul Pete. Pete's gonna kill us. I've got a better weapon, don't I? Oh, cool. Son of a... <laughs> oh, that does the job. Slimbo, calm down. For the love of God. Watch these corners. Some tricky ghouls here. Ho ho ho, mother truckers. You like the side of your own spleen? Oh, dance! Dance it up, boy! Dance it up, ghoul! Do I not have stim packs? Seriously? Oh no, I do. Alright, I have a different animation pack on than the one that usually has that shotgun. Unless every animation pack has problems with shotguns for whatever reason. Jesus Christ, it spells it here. Oh. 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 X Man, does anything look familiar? Oh. I found more hatchets. Oh, there's a hatch. Okay. Ah, oh, a man's axe. Is this a book? No, it's Axe Man's axe. Hey! I think I found it. Thank you for looting the box. Now. Gimme. Alright, sorry. Sure, here you go. Hand over Axeman's items. Nah, I think I'll keep these. Uh, yeah, no, you can take Yes! Axeman returns to his full power. Whoa! Axeman! Look at your armor, that's awesome. Thank you, friend. Let us return to the overworld. 
I wish to congratulate you under less smelly circumstances. Sounds good to me. Let's get out of here. Think it's a recording or... It's probably a, probably a recording. What the hell was that? Sounds like some zombies came home to a holly jolly cluster. Jameson. There's no other way out of this cave than the way we came in. And by the sound of things, there's a horde of zombie bastards standing between us and the exit. You don't seem too worried about any of this. <laughs> worried? I have an axe. And I am absolutely soaking in anticipation. Oh, I thought you were sweating. Oh, God. Okay, wait. There's a... No, there isn't. Choir's key. All right. Uh, I don't know. Is there a key in here? All right, maybe we'll come back here. Oh my god. <laughs> Going flying. Damn. Damn. Damn, girl. You got eggs in your pants. Maybe one of these ding dongs has, uh. Wow, cool. You make me feel cool. Hey, look at that fireman over there. Looks like the fire's just starting. Checking the bodies. I'm gonna need a bigger axe. We just got you your axe back. And you're already complaining. Here I come. It's so good to be home. Oh, gee, no! Damn. Axeman's got no chill. Holy crap. There's gotta be a key. Yeah, yeah, very spooky. question. <sighs> Maybe that goofy ghoul up here. Can you get up there? Nope. Oh, maybe. My god. I don't think he died. Oh, watch out. It's Limbo. It's Limbo, you okay? Limbo! Now, there are only two constants in life. Death and dances. <laughs> uh, no. Hmm. Very curious about that door. Jeez! Time to die. Sorry, sorry. I'm not gonna act nicely. My God, more are they all on a bus? Well, oh. oh, that was awesome. It is thanks to you that I once again wield my birthright. It's a little uh. You have been a friend to Axeman in ways he can't even pronounce, um, let alone repay. We make a pretty good team, don't we? I went through all of this for nothing. We make a pretty good team. Yeah, like pancakes and sausage, mm. together forming a complete breakfast, ready to clog the veins of our enemies. Yeah, that part's true. And that is why I make this proposal. I just met you, dude. What is it? Axeman offers to be your battle buddy. A companion and ally throughout your wild adventures in the wasteland. Boot? 
I accept. Sorry, Ax I accept. Yes! Axe Man hasn't been this happy since he murdered a cave full of zombies with an axe. I was like, uh... Let's go kill something. The wolves are back and by wolves are mean coyotes. Damn, I got dark. Alright, let's go to your house. Probably not the uh, wild adventure you thought we were going to go on, but... Alright. Alright, well, you go to sleep. We'll wait here till morning. Till morn. Morning, Axeman. How have you been? It's a chat. Axeman is at your service. Let's see, talk about your tactics. I'd like to know more about you, bud. What do you want to know about Axeman? Where'd you get those teeth? What's your story? Why are you called Axeman? Do you have an actual name? Uh, what's your story? Axeman was reborn as a beautiful baby on the shores of California. When he became a man, he ventured out into the wasteland. He saw many sights, met many people, killed many weird things. Eventually, he just sort of ended up here in the Mojave. Not really any special reason. Nice enough place. Good hunting. Why are you called Axeman? It is the name Axeman chose for himself came up with your own name? Yes. It is the right of every man to choose their own name. Was that not the case for you? Boot. The boot machine decided for me. It's just what everyone calls me. Pick boots. I guess there must be some merit to it then. Still, a man's name should be their own. Why'd you choose the name Axeman? Axeman's village was very close to a city from the before times. As a boy... He would explore the ruins. He would find many treasures hidden in the rubble there, but his favorite were the knowledge squares. Knowledge squares! One of those squares told the story of a boy, much like Axeman was at the time. One day, the boy had picked up an axe and used it to chop down a tree. He didn't even have a reason. He just did it. It was inspiring. So he... Just like chopping things, that's that's it? Well, yes, but also no. <laughs> the axe is a tool, its purpose, to shape the world around us. With axe in hand, man becomes his own creator. Axe man. You have an actual name or you're just axe man? What? Axe man needs no other names. He is axe man. It's just that axe man's... An unusual name. <laughs> Names are used to identify things so that we understand what they are. If Axeman was named Oscar or Jeffrey, it would mean nothing. That would be unusual. Alright. Axeman. Um, let's, uh. Axeman is with you. Let's travel. All right, so that does it for the Axeman quest, but we are going to go on a little adventure of our own. So uh, let's, uh, let's, go, uh, let's get to it. Measure once, axe twice. All right, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I want you to murder. Axeman, is that your sir? Murder everything. I'm well versed in axe sticks. I've heard your... Poex tree. Oh god, I'm not good. Uh, I want you to change your. Uh, yeah. Axe man is a combat style. Axe man. You okay, Axe man? You need some Ritalin. Um, I want you not to attack enemies unless I've already engaged them. Okay, no. Yeah, that's right. It's all in the back swing, and the fore swing. Swinging is important for fighting with an axe. It's very true, <laughs> Axe man. All right, ready for action. It's true. Let's go. Let's dance. Axeman is with you. Oh, God. Slimbo, did it get slightly less saturated? Where'd all the orange go? All right, so there's been a bunch of who dickies hanging around uh, Good Springs. And Pickboots and Slimbo don't like that because that's their... That's where, I guess that's where... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Where? 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 <laughs> That's where they sleep. So uh, we're going to take care of some of these 
Dingle dongs. And I, whoa, that's uh, uh, sure, whatever. Press that shotgun against your chest like a weirdo. So this is part of more Mojave. It adds a whole bunch of new locations and uh, different NPCs throughout. This is the uh, the Dusty Cave, the Toxic Cave. I always call it the Dusty Cave. And by always, I mean the past day when I installed it. All right, Axe Man. This is for you to prove yourself. Start murdering. Slimbo, he has to do it. You have to do it, okay, bud? You gotta go first. All right, let me bring you in here. I think this might not be like properly nav meshed. Yeah, I know, look, I'm trying to get him to attack. Slimbo, you stay over there, right? Look, yeah, I know, I know this is your home. I know this is your home. Just shut your Jameis. mouths. Oh my God, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. I somehow missed. Get him, get him. my ass. Good job, good job. No one's pooping tonight. Well, I mean, I guess when you die, you'll poop. But besides that, that. There's a little bit of frame drop in this uh, area as well. All right, um, what do we got over here? Do I have that big rifle? Bolt action, dick, sneeze. Yeah. Oh wait, th that's not what ghouls sound like. I mean, that is what ghouls sound like. Whoa! Think that Brahmin might still, nope, that's dead. Look, I know you're Always the nicer of the plants, but I'm still gonna have to kill you. God, plants always look like they have the. They got buttholes. They, though that's a clear butthole. Axe Man, can you come in here? Help me with these literal plant buttholes. Wastelander. It's filled with water and cigarettes. It's a horrible combination. Yeah, I think the nav meshing in this area is off. It's Axe Man and Slimbo. They're just twiddling their thumbs. All right, well, if you got a job, might as well take care of it yourself. Even though the whole point was to get Axe Man to prove his worth even more. Come on up the stairs of death. I'll be reloading. Oh boy. Don't come up just yet and chucking down some dynamite. Oh, Axe Man. And uh, I'll, I'll include these weapons in the description as well. Well, it looks like two, two of y'all dumb as hell. You dumb as hell. Oh, I got your friend. Oh, you know what? We have to go back. I, I, I don't know if we can open that floorboard, that metal floorboard that was in the... Uh, uh, Okay, well that's not. Oh. Hey, I helped you. Yeah, you're not you're not glowing, buddy. You don't have that power. Your powers don't work in this part of the cave. Fool. Taking the nuts. Oh god. Alright, I think they'll pop in here once we go inside of the the shack. Someone's thinking about the world. That's with the man. You get the axe. Kill Max man. Yeah. Oh god, where did he go? 
What happened? Oh my god, I... You hit him so hard. <laughs> oh my god, X-Man. Ghost mode, ghost mode, whoa, whoa. Ghost mode, where did he go? Ghost mode, ghost mode, whoa, whoa. Where'd he go? I don't know. Jesus, X-Man. All right, everyone. Come over here. Good job, X-Man. That's what I wanted you to do. You've proven your... Proven your worth. I'm just gonna make a mess of this whole room now. Yeah, I'd like to throw the second one. Thank you. Everyone, back up, back up. Stay here, okay? It's gonna be 74 seconds until these explode. Damn. Well, you know what? Let's just say we got it. No one else is gonna come in here and check our work. Uh... What? Some, some, something happened? Pretty sure there's... Okay, whatever, sure. Sure, game. Something definitely spooky happened, I guess. Oh. All right, Axeman, you've proven yourself, even though you you, refu you refused, not refused, to uh, follow us in that first section, but I'm pretty sure that's not your fault. The toxic cave is only filled with my toxic comments now. Ah. All right, let's go back and see if that door opens. That metal grate. I was curious if we missed a key last time, but guessing not. Oh my god, how did we? Unless you guys were on another trip. Y'all dumb as hell. You could go. Oh yeah. Three for all of us. Nice. Whoa. It's a vintage talking mole rat jukebox. Unfortunately, a botch repair job has permanently fused the animatronics in place. Well, I'm gonna we're gonna fix we're gonna fix that baby. That's a that's a thing. It's a thing I've always wanted. Boot, you've always wanted that, right? Boot. Yeah. yeah exactly. Stucker mode engaged. <laughs> oh no. Alright. <laughs> Uh. Uh. It's a dummy terminal. Uh. 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 Alright, we weren't supposed to come down here. Sorry, Ollie. I had to do it. Mmm, sniffing that night air. That's tasty. All right, everyone. Well, I do believe that does it for The Axeman by Ali Oxen. I hope you enjoyed this. This is a, uh, a new version, a new take on The Axeman. And uh, there's actually uh, Ali Oxen did his own video with a creator commentary, so go check it out. I'm going to list it here at the end of the video. So, yeah, check out Ali's video. Uh, big thanks to Ali for uh, making this come to life. And uh, hope you all enjoyed. I know I did. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the Axe Man future. Oh, hey. I got them dancing feet. I want to dance with you. Why don't you put your shoes?